Hello oh. Before we begin the video, let's discuss Cloud Foundation. Cloud Foundation is the premier online training platform to help individuals and organizations gain knowledge and skills in the ever-growing cloud computing industry. Thus in the standard object the external code they have taken as a string. When you're creating a custom object, we need to take the external code as a user. The data type as a user. Okay. This is also a requirement. We need to change it. Okay. So you can see external code and name. Both are in gray code. It is by default. It is coming here. Correct. So this is initially will be coming by default. And we can. We need to change the data type to user for the external code. Okay. After that, from the start date onwards, we can able to go and create the all the custom fields. So what are the custom fields which we are having? I'm still audible. Yes, yes. So we have the travel start date, travel mode, travel duration, travel end date. Okay, I'm taking four fields, so I can use this as travel start date. So what I need to do, I can go to the details here and in the details I will go to the label here. I can mention as travel. Start. Okay. And I will copy this. And I will go to the. So here I will select this as English. And I will click on done. Okay. Now. After that, what is the another custom field which we need to take? Travel end date, travel mode and travel duration. Okay, so let me take here as effective and the date. Okay. Effective, ended it and here date length. I will take always as 10. Change the data type to date. Okay, go to the details. Go to the label and I will mention travel. End date. Okay, so we will copy this. We still here. Okay. Okay. And then it is done. Then what is travel mode and travel duration right? So let me take travel mode. We should not give any space here. Okay. Either you can use underscore or you should not give any space here. Travel mode. I will take it as 32 characters. I'm keeping it string. Go to the detail. And here I will mention the label. Whatever label which we are mentioning here, that will be showing in the employee profile. Okay. That will be showing in the employee profile. So I will be copying this and I will be selecting the translation's default value I am selecting here. So here I am taking the default value English UK. United Kingdom. 
So I'm taking here travel mode and I'm taking on done. So this also another custom field I added here. Okay. What is the travel duration? Right. You have travel duration. So in the travel duration, let me take travel duration. Okay. And travel duration. Travel duration. Let me take this as a string. So let me take something 32. And here. Travel duration. Okay. Travel duration, I just mentioned. Okay. All visibility, everything we have kept as editable and click on done. So you can see here the code name, the start date, end date, travel mode and travel duration. These are the fields which we are taking under the object, that is, travel management. Okay. So this is the first step. So after this we don't have to do any association here. Keeping the secured as yes permission category by default. It is coming as a miscellaneous. Just go and save it. One of this first step is completed. Then we need to duplicate the screen. Okay. So I will duplicate the screen. What is the second step? In doing the configuration, first step of configure, object definition. Right. Second step is managed configuration UI. Correct. So what we will do? We will go into the screen here and we will search for. Manage config UI. Manage config UI. Okay. So in the managed config UI. I need to click on create new. When I click on create new, I need to select the base object. What is the base object I need to select? I need to select the base object, that is, this one, travel management right. This is the one which I have created. So for that, what I need to do, I have to search for. Travel management. Can you see? It is showing travel management. So the first step which you have created, that object name. We need to search it here. Okay. Got it. So when I click on this object, whatever the fields which I created, it starts population here. Can you see the fields also start population here? Okay. And what is the data type which we have taken according to that? That also will start showing. Okay. So under here, if you want to do some changes, 
you can go to the edit properties we have. So we have the layout here. There are three type of layout, form, flow and grid. So now it is in the form format. So if I select flow and I click on OK, it will be in this format. OK. So if I want to go to edit properties and if I want to select grid, it will be in this format. OK. So how this manage config UI is something how you are, how the UI should look like. It is a designing of the field. OK. Designing of the screen. So if I'm not taking, I'm keeping it as form and visibility of fields. So if I'm keeping only as a 0 2, so how it will look, like you can see, it will look like this. Okay. And you have an option here. Show more. Can you see here? You can see the remaining fields start population here. Okay. So it's up to us how we are, how you want to show in the employee profile. So here I'm keeping it as 99 only. Okay, nothing much we need to do and we can able to create an idea and save it. So here let me create an idea. Travel management 29, 0, 0, 23. Okay. So, whatever changes which we are doing here after selecting the base object, create an idea and save it. This is the second step. Okay. How you are designing, how the appearance will look like, the alignment of the fields will look like. Okay. Once it's done, then we need to go into the third. And finally, do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel.